for the murder of Officer Matthew Baxter and Sergeant Richard Sam Howard. I hereby sentence you to death. Closure following the 2017 shooting deaths of two Kissimmee police officers, a judge sentencing Everett Miller to death. Five years and we finally have justice. I'm so grateful. The widow of one of those officers saying it's been a long time coming and there's still a long road ahead as she raises her kids without their dad. This is News 6 at 5. I'm Matt Austin. I'm Ginger Gadsden. Lisa Bell is off tonight. Sergeant Sam Howard and Officer Matthew Baxter were both shot by Everett Miller back in 2017. Miller was convicted in 2019. New Six's Lauren Cervantes was in the courtroom as that death penalty decision was handed down by the judge. Lauren. Both families were visibly emotional following the judge's death sentence. They spoke with us out here outside of the courthouse today, saying it has been a long and difficult five years since their loved ones were killed. Matthew and I proudly put on our uniform and our badge daily to protect and serve. And although he did not make it home, there are many other law enforcement officers that still put on that gun and badge and who deserve the respect. And I'm so grateful that, because this community has shown us so much love during this difficult time. Officer Matthew Baxter's wife, Sadia, spoke alongside their two little girls and surrounded by family, all emotional outside the courthouse after a judge sentenced Everett Miller to death. The sentencing coming nearly three years after a jury found Miller guilty of killing two Kissimmee police officers in 2017. Sergeant Sam Howard and Officer Baxter were on patrol in a neighborhood when they were shot to death. Sophia was just seven months old when their daddy was killed. Sadia asking for continued prayers as they move forward. I wanted to say a few words on behalf of Sam's family right here. They've, they're, they're here and they're proud. Their sons proudly serve this community and the United States of America. And his mom said that the most that she will miss is his smile. Sam had a great smile. As my supervisor who worked, who I worked under, every, anybody knew that worked with him and for him knew that he had a smile that was out of this world. Kissimmee Police Chief Jeff O'Dell came to support the families. Um, we are extremely grateful that justice has been served. This has been a very long and difficult process for everybody involved. Um, still have years of healing to go through. Prosecuting attorney Ryan Williams calling it a clean trial with lots of evidence and says this is one of his last cases in this role as he will be pursuing a career in private practice. This is me composing myself trying to. One of the reasons I don't do this anymore is because I'm a little tired of having to talk about people that I care about so much when there's so much pain around it. Um, I'm just extremely grateful for the relationships. Williams is resigning in his role as a prosecutor for the state's attorney's office out of Marion County, but he still has one more death penalty case left in Orange County. That's happening in October. For now, outside of the Osceola County Courthouse, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results. News 6. Lauren, thank you. And you can read up on the history of this case that spans almost five years now. <laughs> from the investigation to the memorials for both Sergeant Sam Howard and Officer Matthew Baxter. Find it all on the homepage.